Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a quick look at a game called Epic, a trading card game. Uh, it came out in 2009, I believe. Made by, I think it's Epic, let's see, made by Epic TCG. I don't know if that's right or wrong. It might have been like self-published under that company. There's another card game out called Epic that plays the same way. It's a little more streamlined, but I think if I remember correctly, the point of this game when it came out, it's a trading card game. You buy two packs, pop them open, put them together, you have a 30 card deck ready to play. So, two people go buy four packs, they're ready to play a full game of Epic. It's been a while, so I'm not gonna I know all the rules. I believe it's the same thing as you get seven cards. Draw one on your turn. And kind of like the new epic, you have one resource point per turn, I believe. Which is up here in the corner. So you can play on your turn or you can play on your opponent's turn. I'm not sure if that's the way it was in this older game or not. But we're just going to take a look at the cards here. So, and uh, the other I think thing in this game, like all the cards were pretty powerful. So they do like crazy things, just like get rid of big champions or whatever. Like Airborne, like she would come out, good magical champion. Airborne, I think, means flight at the beginning of your uh, battle step or your pre-battle step. It's like your setup. You may put a good champion from your discard pile into play. So any champion in your discard pile, it could be whoever, it could be huge, comes out, comes into play, comes into your field. And I think I think they come out um, exhausted, tap, rested, sideways. And then you can just do this. And you can put, put champion or object into the controller's hand and you draw a card. So say if you do this like this, you get a big one out, you're like, ah, just return home and you get to draw a card. Like a wooden nymph. And attack, defense. I'm seeing the number one on all those cards. So I guess they all cost a resource. What's a vent? Like an affinity symbol. Okay, yeah, if one was paid, so that is a resource point. I don't see any free heroes or champions, whatever they call them. Okay. Here's one, but these symbols mean different things in the game. I don't have an instruction booklet. I'm lying. I do have an instruction booklet. Rule book. <clears throat> All right. So build can be played during your build step. When the line is empty, blah, blah, blah. And so you have an instantaneous here. So this will break down your symbols. The turn. Play your abilities without this arrow on it. Like I said, it's been a while. I don't even know what you start your life at. Uh, starting hand size is five. Probably because you only have a 30 card deck. And your life is at 30. And oh, if you have no cards left in your deck, if you deck out, you win. So if you burn through your deck, you can win. You can mulligan. Lose one number of cards each time you mulligan. Okay, so this is a free to play. That's like sideways eight. It's not quite an infinity symbol. So this is not a how to play video. I just saw these. Figure I get them out. Like I said the game I thought was okay. I might like it better than the new Epic actually, just because it's kind of more seems more silly and the art's kind of crazy. So the Muse, she has that symbol. You can come out to play. I not like I'm gonna do the rules, but I'm curious. All right. And you have 
like an event. So look at this thing. You pay one, banish all champions. So you just clear the board for like one resource because that's all you have for a turn. And then factions are, uh, I, mean, I don't know, you got like the gold, green. And you usually want to put your deck two colors together. So it looks like I probably put a green and gold deck together and with some just crazy powerful random cards. Let's see, this one is I like weapons here. All right, let me just slow down so we can look at some of the art. People also didn't like the art in this game. They said it was too generic CG. I like the art. I think it's fine. Some of it's maybe a, a little silly. I've seen worse. I mean, look at that. What is that? <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, it's just fantasy art, so let's see what the problem is. I know I got these pretty cheap. I don't know if they're still cheap. They probably are. The card stock is fair. You got T-Rex. I thought there was like a girl riding a, yeah. <laughs> Killer Conqueror, you see riding a dinosaur. That's pretty awesome. So the game is meant you grab it, you pop open your two packs together, ready to play. And then of course, I'm sure has constructed and all that stuff. Epic trading card game. I, I think I do like it more than the new one. 